And here are some other famous faces you'll see at the big game. Many are in some big money Super Bowl commercials. In 2001, we had the honor of singing the national anthem. Yeah, yeah. So actually to be back now doing a commercial, who knows what will come cool. next Pretty year. Cool. That sounds like a halftime bid that you're putting in your bid. Oh, right now, we'll it see would, what happens. It would be fun. It, would be an honor. it could be fun. An honor. Backstreet may already be eyeing next year's halftime show. No, Meanwhile, Luke not. Wilson, I'm a close talker, who's got his own ad, has his sights set on Legally Blonde 3. <sighs> Don't ask. Wasn't gonna. Yeah, I can't imagine anything that would be more fun. Reese played such a great character. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to do Legally Blonde 3. Sarah Michelle Gellar's Olay ad pays tribute to her past screen queen roles, but does she remember her very first commercial when she was five and a brunette? I go to Burger King. I don't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday, let alone what I was doing in 1981. I also caught up with Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes, who told me all about Andy Cohen's recent baby shower. It was amazing. Amazing. We did not play one baby game. We danced. That's why y'all were on the tables. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, they drank that much? No! <laughs> and Jenny McCarthy, who's here with her Sirius XM radio show, gave me hints about her other hit series, The Masked Singer. Now, who do you think the Bumblebee is? By the way, don't get too caught up in that, because a lot of people think they know. There's some leaks online, and I'm sorry, you're wrong.